Hi, so hopefully by now you've seen how we derive the wave equation for the one-dimensional transverse mechanical wave. That's the type of waves you see traveling along a string as we wiggle it back and forth. Um, and see also how the solution works and what features the solution tend to have. So we're going to expand that and see how we can arrive at the same wave equation for different physical phenomena that we know kind of have the characteristic of a wave. And also the, the key thing to remember today is as soon as you get that wave equation, as soon as you see the double spatial derivative equal the temp double temporal derivative, we will have right away the speed of that wave without even finding the solution because we solved it for our case. And then because we live in 3D world, we'll extend the wave equation in 3D and look at some property of at least one type of solution we would have in 3D. So in terms of different examples of waves, you might think of First of all, light waves, uh, electromagnetic waves, and especially in the context of this course, so-called waves and optics. But alas, light as coming from a light bulb, or more fun, coming from a laser, because lasers are always fun. Uh, laser lights are actually easier to analyze because they go in a definite direction, and they only have a single wavelength. But we can talk about that more in the coming weeks when we get there. And also, light comes from us all around the universe, and as we can see it in the night sky. Um, legend has it that when Maxwell first discovered how electromagnetic waves discover, sorry, it describes light, he took his girlfriend, or fiance I think at the time, out to look at the night sky, and ostensibly he said that he was the only person on Earth at that time who understands how the light travels from the stars to their eyes. So that's how physicists tend to be romantic sometimes. Alas, we can extend beyond our visible light region into other electromagnetic waves like radio waves, microwaves, infrared, and also x-rays. So. Lots and lots of different examples of the electromagnetic waves. Another type of waves you might be thinking of is sound waves. Sound wave is a um, longitudinal kind of pressure wave that moves along any medium, most likely air, but not doesn't have to be. And you can talk about recording sound or producing sound, and we'll have a deeper look at the musical instrument and how they create sound as we move into the next couple weeks actually. It's a very fun thing. You can explain how instrument works. But today we're going to focus on how the wave equation comes about with a different property of sound. Another example very common would be your water waves, water coming up and down. Um, it's actually a little more difficult with the water waves because deep underwater, it actually more or less work like a longitudinal pressure wave, much like the sound wave. But as you get up towards the surface, the water, the higher pressure water is allowed to swell up and come down. So you have a little combination of your longitudinal and transverse property, and the top kind of swirls around like in a circle, as you can see here which makes it a little difficult to analyze so we won't go into it in as much depth so we'll focus today mainly on deriving the wave equation for electromagnetic waves and also for the sound wave and then we'll move on to extending our solution to 3d